council meeting, that's what it was, a council meeting, and they were discussing this environmentally sensitive property. So, you know, I got up and I, I was nice to him. I asked the mayor, I said, you know, when are we going to discuss this next? And he told me to read the back of the newspaper and keep my eyes open. Well, I said, well, can I just call your office and ask you? Can I have an open dialogue? And it was like, for some reason, he did not want to have an open dialogue. It was all secret. And I said, you know what, there's something wrong with this whole deal. Uh, I was asked by our by our mayor, mayor uh, who are you to put on a budget review group? I said, no, I'm a citizen of this town, and there are other citizens who are interested in what their money is spent on. Well, I think that what I found frustrating is that there is a lot that I didn't understand and I didn't know. So knowing that knowledge is power, as they say, that I was lacking power because I didn't have the knowledge. and have been very interested in learning more about what I don't know. I was aware at a subconscious level there was all these political parties, Republicans, Democrats, and all these secret agendas and all these, you know, it's just like the, the good old boys club. Uh, I didn't like the way things were run in this town. And uh, I had to make a decision, do I want to continue just living here and let things be? Or do I want to make a change? It's very easy to complain and point and say that someone did something wrong or just say that someone should change something. Well, sometimes you need to look at yourself and say, maybe I'm that someone that needs to make that change. And uh, very famously, uh, my, na my neighbor actually said, um, uh, less talking, more doing. We have to stop talking about these things. We have to do something to change it. And that's when I uh, became involved, uh, including with the Citizens' Campaign. I knew I could make a difference. Um, and where that came from, I'm not exactly certain. Some of it is just determination. A little bit of it is stubbornness as well. Coincidentally, that was also at the same time that I first heard of the Citizens' Campaign and what uh, the Citizens' Campaign was doing. So I went on the website, I took all the classes, I educated myself as to what was going on. Uh, well, it, it is a toolbox so that an ordinary citizen can participate in the government format. That's what it is. It allows anybody to participate because you can go right to the toolbox, get the right answers, get the right, the right papers, the right directions, the right information. That's what's incredible about it there. So you, you're not wasting your time and you're going about it in the right form. That's what's fantastic about the Citizens Campaign. Uh, because they give you sort of a toolkit of how to do things. And it's not only what you learn while you're taking the classes. They, they are a starting point to think about how to do things and how to get it done. Well, one of the very first things I did was organize the Leonia Call to Service Summit uh, because here I was first uh, uh, out of the gate uh, attempt to put together a summit for people to learn how they can make a difference. I've had many, many discussions uh, with people and they always say, well, what can you do? And I said, okay, let's put on this summit and let's, let's see what we can do. And I, I have to th say that the support from the Citizens' Campaign was, was great because you, s you provided all the material that I needed to put it together. Uh, we put out press releases, we promoted it, we um, announced it on our, on our listserv to get uh, people involved that were interested in it. I did uh, successfully run for a committee seat here in the city of Trenton in the county of Mercer and took a leadership role here in Trenton, as well as a party on the county level, and uh, also was elected to the state committee for the state of New Jersey. And I'm a committee person there. And just last year, I ran for and won the seat for the chair of the party in the city of Trenton. I think the biggest change to date has been the, the awareness that there is more information that should be made available to the public before any public issue is decided. Uh, one of the latest uh, things that I've, I've been involved with is a budget review group that is reviewing both the school and the municipal budget. Not for any partisan reasons or gotcha politics, but to look into 
each line item and ask questions. Why are we paying this money? Are we allocating resources appropriately? Are our priorities uh, still the same that they have been three or four years ago? Or should we reallocate our resources? I don't believe we should leave that just to the elected officials. Good Lord, that was in 2006. We, there's a, I led a group of citizens and a committee to uh, press for stronger pay to play in the city of Trenton. And that just uh, puts restrictions on how much money businesses can donate to candidates and elected officials. Uh, oftentimes people will make large contributions and hope that they will get contracts when people, when elected office or get reelected. And that's something that we've found was problematic in the city of Trenton. So we pressed the, the city council that was sitting at the time to just go ahead and vote that into a stronger ordinance into law, but they declined. And so we went through the process where we uh, got lots of signatures on a petition to have it on the ballot as a referendum. And the citizens voted on that. And it passed, I believe it was three to one. So uh, after a, a big fight, and it's interesting when you go up against someone that's perceived having power and they had additional resources financially that we didn't have. but we succeeded and I'm really proud that I was a part of that effort. I also took the uh, course on citizen journalism. Um, I've always had an interest and I have somewhat of a background in, in media and journalism and uh, with modern technology uh, hyper local news, really local news events is something that I'm that I'm interested in and my involvement with the uh, listserv uh, discussion forum where uh, I use it as a, uh, as a medium to distribute information about meetings that take place in town, where you may have only three, four people in the audience, but something very important for the community is being discussed and decided. Uh, so uh, when I have an opportunity, I share it on the discussion forum, and out of a sudden, by the press of a button, it is distributed to 850 households in our community. That's 20% of the, um, of the um, uh, households in town uh, and registered voters that you can reach that way. Seven council people voted at large, and out of the seven, uh, they would actually vote on who was going to be mayor. They'd appoint who was mayor. So we went out, Angelo and uh, the group, about, I think it was about 10 of us, we went out and we informed the public. We st stood in front of the shop right, the hardware store, went all over town telling the uh, people, listen, let's change the form of government to a directly elected mayor. And they all said, we elect our mayor. I said, no, you ha we haven't elected, we never elected our mayor. So we, 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 we got the signatures and we just handed out literature and just kept educating the public. And we did that all from the beginning of the summer. I think the cutoff date was August. And we were supposed to have, let's say, 4,000, 5,000 signatures. We actually went over it. We went over and got 10,000 just to inform the public so we had a good base. And that was August we turned in. We had plenty of signatures. And then November was the election and we won. And the other thing that uh, we're going to uh, release very shortly is a new website where public documents, public information will be made available to the citizens in Leonia to have access to that information that for whatever reason the municipality or the school board or what other uh, commission does not provide. They should, but they don't. You could do it without running for office. You could do it. I'm a busy guy. Run the store, take care of my son, plus teach yoga, do sailing. So you know what? You can fit it in. You just make it work. You can definitely make it work. Because you got the toolbox of the citizens' campaign. It's incredible. I see myself as an average citizen that just had the drive to learn something, to grow myself at the same time being able to share with other people in my community to have them grow as well. One of the rewards that you get, that you find out, yes, there are more people like you that think the same thing, that want to accomplish the same thing. The difficult part is to motivate them to come along. If you want to get involved in something in your town, county, school board, 
get involved, please do, because I think the facts are, I'm gonna quote some facts that I got. 20, on a regular election day, any given election, 21% of the voters come out to vote. 21% of the registered voters. On a good election, 27% come out. So what you have is you got the political machine. So basically, whatever township, county you're living in, it's driven by the political machine. And if we can get the voters up just a little bit, participate and vote, get out, and you know what? We can make a big difference there. But it is a realization that, yes, there are other people who are doing this, and yes, you can make a difference, and if I get involved, then it's one more person uh, working towards the same goal. Give me any town and give me five people, and they don't even have to work that hard. Just give me five people, I can do anything.